Temperature of air at any place is influenced by many factors, like the latitude at which a place is situated, the altitude of the place, distance from the sea of that place, air mass circulation, the presence of warm and cold ocean currents along the coast, and also some local aspects which influence the temperature distribution. Latitude at which a place is situated is an important factor controlling the distribution of temperature. It determines the amount of insulation that is received at a particular place. The place situated at lower latitude near the equator receives higher temperature as compared to the regions close to the pole. It is because of this that the tropical region is the hottest region of the earth and the temperature decreases in the temperate and the polar region. Insulation varies according to latitude and the temperature also varies accordingly. The atmosphere is mainly heated by the terrestrial radiation and so there is decrease of temperature with increasing altitude of a place. The rate at which the temperature decreases with increasing altitude is called the lapse rate, which is 6.5 degree centigrade per kilometer or 1 degree centigrade per 165 meters. As a result, temperature decreases as we go away from the Earth's surface in the lower layers of the atmosphere. It is because of this that the temperature is lower in the high mountains as compared to the places close to the sea level. Another factor that influences the temperature of any place is the distance of the place from the sea. This affects the moisture availability in the air and subsequent cloudiness. The regions close to the sea has higher moisture content in the atmosphere and as the distance from the sea increases, the moisture content in the atmosphere goes on decreasing and the sky is more or less clear, leading to higher level of insulation. Also compared to the land, the sea gets heated slowly and takes time to get cooled down, whereas the land gets heated and cooled down quickly. As a result, the variation of temperature over the sea is less as compared to the land surface. The regions close to the sea coast come under the moderating influence of the sea. So it has moderate temperature as the range of temperature is less whereas the range of temperature is high over the land surface and larger variation in the maximum and minimum temperature is seen there. Like the land and sea breeze, the passage of air masses also affects the temperature of any place. The place which come under the influence of warm air mass experience higher temperature and the place which come under the influence of cold air mass experience low temperature. Same way, the places where warm ocean currents flow near the coast, higher temperature is experienced in the coastal regions than the places located on the coast where the cold current flows. Temperature distribution on the map is shown with the help of isotherms. Isotherms are lines on the map joining places having equal temperature. In normal situation, the temperature decreases with increasing altitude, which is called normal lapse rate. However, Sometimes at certain places, it is seen that this situation is reversed. The temperature increases with increasing altitude near the Earth's surface in place of decreasing. This increase in temperature with increasing height in the atmosphere in place of decreasing is known as temperature inversion. This temperature inversion is common during the winter season when the night is long and sky is clear. The Earth's heat is radiated back to the atmosphere quickly 
during the winter night and the earth's surface becomes cold. So in this situation, the temperature inversion takes place as the temperature increases with increasing height in the atmosphere, especially during the morning as the temperature of the earth's surface becomes colder as compared to the lower layers of the atmosphere. In the polar region, temperature inversion is common throughout the year as the temperature received by the insulation there is very low. Dense fog in the winter morning is a common feature which happens due to temperature inversion. Temperature inversion is also common in the hilly and mountainous regions due to air drainage. Cold air over the mountains in the night flows downhill towards the valley by the force of gravity and pushes the warm air of the valleys upward leading to temperature inversion. So, in the, during the night, in the valleys, the cold air rests. So, the temperature increases with altitude because the warm air lies over the cold air in the valleys during the night because of the air draining, the cold air draining to the valleys. This is also known as, as mountain winds and valley winds. The air that comes downhill from the mountains to the valley is called the mountain wind and the air that is forced up from the valleys to the higher levels because of coming down of the cold winds in the valleys is called the valley winds. This is another example of temperature inversion.